welcome back guys to another video this is sam codes and yeah it's been a while but hopefully this is the start of more regular videos and yeah what we're gonna do today is a simple progress bar and why this is so important is that a progress bar is just a graphical um it's a way of graphically like showing what's happening in your code so you could easily use this um for your loading to show like when your code is loading for your runtime you could also use this for, with apis and different data to really represent them and show like which levels of them are actually at certain stages so there's so many things to do with this but what i'm going to show you here is how to do this in a gui setting so that you can actually have it really nice and looking but if you can stay to, if, and if you stay to the end of this video i'll actually give you another code which is more of a terminal progress bar so by the end of this video you have two code samples which will actually be on progress bar you can choose between which one you prefer so i want to show you the gui and also show you the terminal one and yeah pick whatever you want and you know how it is guys like subscribe to the video if you're new and yeah comment down below about videos tutorials you would like to see on this channel i'm gonna be way more active and yeah let's get to it So the first thing we need to do is, and I'll show you actually places where you can get this, the modules that I'll be using for this project right here. We need to import our modules and the first module we're importing is Pi Simply GUI. You can see right here, I will say set it as SG. So be using SG to actually refer to this library. The next thing we'll import is time because we wanna use the time to really set it and make it actually work well. After this, we'll have a list and I'm just going to call this my list. And this is going to be what we're going to be representing. In your case, depending on your project you're doing, this could be data from yeah, stock exchange. It could also be just your runtime data. It could be any kind of representation you want. In this form, we're going to put it in a list form and we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Now that we have all this, we'll create a variable called progress bar. And set it equal to a list. And inside this list, we'll actually have another one. We'll say SG now. So refer to the SG. I'll we'll say progress bar. And then we want to get the length. want to get the length but we put that in a curly bracket in a normal bracket so we say length and then we refer to our my list that we just created after this we'll give it orientation and we'll just give it a h also I have to set a size and our size will set it to be 51 you can always play with these variables to really understand the code after this, we'll also set a key and the key will be set to, I will just call it progress bar. Now that we have this in check, what we'll need to do now is we need to do our output window. So I'll just call this output win. Set that equal to SG dot output and give it a size we'll set our size to 78 and 20 and we'll set put this inside brackets also after this you know how it works with guis you need to also add a layout so set our layout and yep the layout is going to be sg dot frame can see we're actually getting everything from PyCharm. Make sure you're using PyCharm. This is the best ID for Java, uh, for not JavaScript, Python. Progress. It is like the Maga pepperoni pizza of pizzas, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then we say progress bar. 
after this you know what i'm just going to actually copy this because we we'll just modify some little things there so we can save some time and this is going to be output instead of progress and you see how everything is going to be when we're done and the layout is going to be output win mm -hmm. next is going to be start because we're going to have a start button also and it's going to be a little bit different from the rest instead of layout we'll actually say sg dot cancel because one also have a cancel button okay now that we have this we'll create a variable called window and set that to sg dot window with a capital w and we'll put some custom we'll put this string here saying custom progress meter after that we'll refer to our layout what we do next is we create another variable called progress progress underscore bar set that equal to window and in this window we'll put a string there called progress bar we need to set the while loop that's actually going to run this normally you, you won't need this while loop if you have some external data that you're getting from an api that will take care of it but in this case where we're just actually trying it out to make you really see it in motion we need to set a while loop to actually go through the string and all that i mean not to go through the we need a while loop to go through the my list which is right here and we have an error here we just realized that the start should be closed yep a little bit rusty because it's been a while that i actually made tutorial videos so bear with me but yeah as i said it's gonna be way more from now on I'm trying to at least once a week hopefully even more depending on how interactive you guys are so let me know what you want to see in this channel tell me what you want and yeah i'll put it on the channel and yeah have that whole conversation going on so we'll say read and then we have to add a timeout and set it to 10 and we'll say if event is equal to cancel or event in none want to break but we'll add an else if an elif and javascript and why do i keep on saying javascript i've been coding way too much in javascript in python and i'll say start Okay, so now that we have this, we add our for loop. So we'll say for i, and we'll say dot item, meaning i in items, in, and then we enumerate. And then my list. So what we want to do now is we want to actually print the list items inside our GUI, you'll see it unfold just now. We're almost done. I'll also set a time dot sleep to one second. And then we'll say progress on the score bar dot update bar. And here we'll put I plus one. After that, we need to actually make sure our window can also be closed. So we'll say window dot close. So if we did everything well, uh, we didn't have any error and this should not be framed. So this is where our bug is there. This should be submit. Okay guys, so now let's try that and hopefully we don't have any errors. 
and yes so you can see the whole concept of this we have our gui it says custom progress meter that was a string we put there we have progress output we have our start button and our cancel button the cool thing is when we click on start now we can see the progress moving as our output is also moving so that's why i said this is really nice if you want to see like runtime or if you actually want to check some data and you want to let people know that okay what they're doing is working they just need to wait and actually be patient so that's the cool thing about this and i did promise to show at the end of the video for the ones who actually stayed to the end i would show you a different progress bar this is more of a terminal progress bar so what i'll do is i'm just gonna cancel this with the cancel button i can see now program is shut gui has been shut and yes this is the other one that we have and i'll just take this comment right here so we can actually see it this is a little bit different because we will have to run this in the terminal and the way you run this in the terminal without leaving PyCharm is you just go to terminal right here you can see I already started doing it <laughs> you go to terminal and then you actually write the name of the Python file so in our case it's main.py press enter and now you can see our terminal bar moving and showing you the percentage um, yeah this is more of a terminal kind of progress bar but it's still the whole setting and all that. So for sure, if you want this code, you can get it on my Patreon. I'll leave it down below in the link. You can check it out there for the people that support me. And yeah, guys, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you learned from it. If you have any questions, put it down in the program. I mean, in the comments, if you have any, if your program is working well, put it in the comments. If it's not working and you need some help, let me know down in the comments below. Like the video, guys. Support the channel. Subscribe if you're new. More video coming your way. And yeah, I'll see you all on the next video.